Hello everyone. How are you, precious standards? It is Lakidra. I am excited about coming on, sharing a wonderful, powerful praise report, people of God. You are going to be so inspired and encouraged. This is from a man of God that emailed me on today. I received this one, but he also reached out to me seven days ago asking for prayer. And so I want to read the emails to you all. I'm going to read the first one to allow you all to hear that email that was sent out for prayer. And then I'll read the one that came on today and allow you to see that God hears and answers prayers, people of God. He is hearing your prayers. And so I want to jump right into it. Now, this was back on the 5th of February. It says, I need you to pray for my wife and for me to have strength while waiting. I feel like I have been told she will be back, but it does not feel like it. It does not feel like it's any closer. I can't hold on any longer. She is my best friend, the mother to my kids, my soulmate, and my lover. Without her, life makes no sense. I can't hold on much longer and wonder if I'm even being heard. Please pray for my family. I don't know what to do anymore. The more I pray, the worse it seems to get. I need backup in prayer. Okay, now people of God, remember this was seven days ago on the 5th of this month of February. And so now I'm going to fast forward. I get the email back I received from him on today. Listen to it, people of God. He says this. I just want to email you back to let you know God turned around my heartache. He turned it into joy. My wife called me and she has left the other guy. And she has moved him out of her house and had me moved in with her. And our family are complete again. And all glory to God for the restoration of my family. I want to thank you. God is doing great things through you and you will be blessed for the work and dedication you have put in for God. I'm telling you, people of God, it doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter what things look like behind the scenes. God is working for you and on your behalf. Here just a week ago, seven days ago, this man was hopeless. Things looked hopeless. This man, this precious man of God was seeking God for help and strength. Just saying that things was getting worse. And here, seven days later, God has completely turned everything around. Had his wife heart turned around, whereas she has gotten this man out of her life. Her and her husband is back together. Their family is complete now. When things looked just seven days ago, hopeless. You never know what God has in store for you, people of God. There are suddenlies coming your way. Oh, my God. We just thank this man of God for his, oh, his praise report. Sharing what the good Lord has done for him. God has no respect of a person. And we just cover this marriage in Jesus' name. Man of God, we just bless you. Thank you so much. It is so awesome for you sharing your wonderful praise report. You know, People of God, I'm telling you, God has no respect of persons. I know you may not be seeing a star in the sky. You may not be seeing no sign nowhere. But just know that God is working for you. Don't give up. Keep on praying and pressing your way through. Keep pressing. God is hearing you, even when it doesn't look like it. You know, I know the power of prayer. As you pray and stand on his word and trust him, you will see things come your way. 
if we just be patient and hold on and not give up. It is so powerful to see you are not alone. I'm telling you, you are not alone. And yes, weeping only endures for a night, but joy comes in the morning. The Lord is going to get you out of that situation. He's going to get you. He's going to get you out of it. But he's working on you, showing you what you are made of, who you were created to be. God loves you. Hallelujah. He loves you, people of God. Stand your ground. Don't give up. Just when we be about to throw in the towel, that's when he always show up. Thank the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. Thank you for what you are doing. Lord God, yes, continue turning hearts, oh God. Continue, Lord God, reconciling. Continue, Lord God, opening up the lines of communication. Continue, Lord God, softening hearts. We praise you, Lord God. Continue restoring families. Continue, Lord God, overturning divorce cases. Continue letting your will be done and the seeds of your word produce a harvest. Continue allowing the words we have heard, oh God, that has gone forth. That has gone forth, oh God. Prosper wherever they are being sent. Oh God, we declare your word right now. Husbands are loving their wives again as Christ loved the church in Jesus' name. Wives are being submitted unto their husbands in everything in Jesus' name. What you have joined together, no man can separate. We bind this spirit of separation in Jesus' name. We bind those that has come in by the enemy. The demons that has come in, we bind them that has come in to steal, kill, and destroy. We scatter them into seven different directions in the mighty name of Jesus. We cast out the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we just give you the praise. We give you the praise. Just thank him, people of God. God is with you. You're going to see that situation turn around. Hang in there. It doesn't matter what it looks like. God is for you. The moment you prayed, he heard you. Trust him and expect things to come through for you. Expect these things to come to pass. Remember what our Lord Jesus Christ says. He says, when you have prayed, believe that you've received it and it will be yours. And at the same time, you know, when we continue praying, that's a sign of faith. When you don't give up, you'll reap a harvest. The word says in due season, hallelujah, God loves you, people of God. Get ready. Get ready because the very things you ask God for, you're going to see it come to pass. I'm telling you, we have to be patient, though. Give God time to do what he's doing behind the scene. You may not see it, but it's happening. Whether you see it or not, the seed is growing. The seed is producing a harvest, my God. That seed is coming forth in the mighty name of Jesus from that word that you've been standing on. Hallelujah. And so I just wanted to encourage you people. Don't give up. God is hearing your prayers. The enemy will try to fight and make you think nothing is happening because you're not seeing anything. But as you keep praying, you're going to see that ship turn. You're going to see. You're going to see the light. You're going to see the fruit of that harvest. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so people of God, remember that God loves you and I love you too. And thank you all so much as well. Those that have sown into the ministry and the work of God, may the Lord bless you and multiply your seed. Whatever you are believing God for, as you have been pouring into his work and his blessings, may he prosper you in every area of your life and give you the desires of your heart in Jesus name. And I praise him. For every one of you all, Lord, we thank you for what you are doing in Jesus' holy name. Remember, God loves you, people of God, and I love you too. And until next time, bye-bye.